forgive me if I look a little bit sick. I'm currently getting over a flu, so yeah, if I look sick or whatever, don't be alarmed. It's just, you know, a common cold or, you know, slash flu. So yeah, but anyways, another anime from Winter of Anime 2017 has come to an end. Oh, man. Once all these series end, well, at least we could say we could look forward to Spring of Anime 2017 finally starting. But it's still sad seeing good series finally come to a close, even if they've only been going on for the past, like, 12 or so weeks. So, Akka 13 had a conclusion. And in some cases, many might think that the conclusion was too good. And what I'm getting at is, is that the way the series concluded, in some ways I could see many might thinking that this is underwhelming for a finale, because a lot of the things I've been building up throughout the episodes to finding out if Gene will become the king and all that and rule over Akka or whatever in Doa Kingdom, that doesn't necessarily happen. And what wins really at the end of the day is diplomacy, which I have really no problem with, because Akka 13 has shown that's kind of what it's about. It's about politics, diplomacy, trying to, you know, angle a certain, you know, way to where you can get what you want. That's kind of what, you know, Akka 13 is. And, I mean, for everything to be settled with good old-fashioned diplomacy and politics and stuff, I kind of can get behind that. I can definitely get behind that, but I can see many watching this finale of Akka 13 and probably being a little bit upset or a little bit underwhelmed about the finale because of the way it kind of concluded. Now, besides all of that and those feelings aside, I do feel like the episode, the finale of the episode, did a very good job with wrapping up everything that I wanted to be wrapped up with the series. And I have to say that I'm actually pleasantly surprised with how the series managed to do that. Regardless if it was underwhelming or not, I'm just happy to actually see a conclusion to Aka 13, because you don't know how many series I have watched over the years to where you watch a series, you watch a full season from that like anime season and you don't have you know a conclusion to the series and either you have to go read the manga read the light novel play the game whatever or you're never going to get a continuation it's one or the other and i'm glad that this got concluded with this anime season like it's it's done it's wrapped up and that's one thing i can say if you're wanting to see a series that is concluded and it has a nice good bow on top i do recommend this from this anime season however there is some problems with the series i see many might not like about it. it is definitely the slow pacing which i think actually helps the series it helps build up the themes and you know the tension of the series but overall though i can see many not liking this series because of the slow pacing which is something i brought up time and time again throughout my previous reviews of the series still i think the slow pacing does actually help the series thrive and continue to be good week after week but anyways though besides all of that the final episode it revealed quite a bit and also it took a direction with the series i didn't actually expect for one gene didn't become the king and actually you know the actual prince became the king, but he was able to accept Akka, and in some ways, I feel like the way he accepted Akka was a little bit too quick. I felt like that could have been dived into a little bit more and developed, but overall, it still was pretty nice for a conclusion, and he just pretty much said, like, he wanted to be spending time with his family or whatever. He wanted to see his cousins and all that, so I can understand that, but overall, the way that was kind of settled, I felt like there could have been a little bit more development focused on there, but, you know, that's what we're gonna have, because there's not gonna be any more information on the series, because it is Included now, but anyways though, so yeah, I mean the finale of the series. It's it's okay It's nothing spectacular. It's nothing to where I'm gonna say like this is the anime of the season I'm not gonna say that however I do think this is probably the hidden gem of the season a series that probably is not really known that well Or not many are willing to give a chance I feel like that's what this series is a perfect representation of it's the hidden gem It's nothing amazing, but it's a good enough series to say I would think you should warrant a watch for it like it, you definitely should you know see if you like it for yourself oh yeah a couple more things i want to talk about before i kind of conclude this review number one gene didn't end up with anyone which wow i, I figured there would have been some form of romance with him ending up with someone like the director general but that didn't exactly happen i'm like whoa what the fuck so gene hmm okay and then another thing too was the fact that this final episode i don't know if it was just me maybe it's because i'm you know sick with the flu or whatever i'm trying to get over it but the episode's art and animation looked 
kind of like shit. I gotta be real here. Like, the art and animation look pretty shitty throughout this final episode, and for it to be a final episode to kind of, you know, wrap the final bow on top, you'd think you would want to go all out on it, but it kind of looked like shit. <laughs> now, like I said, it could be me, but I mean... I, that's what it looked like to me when I was watching the episode. I was like, some of the faces kind of look off. The way they, you know, they have still frames going on here and there. The way they're not animating the characters talking all that. They're just, you know, making, like, images move while you have the characters having audio over it. And I'm like, that looks very lazy. It looks like there was a lot of problems with this episode. Like, it was really bad. So, I don't know. But, I mean, regardless of all of these little problems here and there. I am pretty satisfied with Aka 13. So let me know your honest thoughts in the comments below and I love you all so much. You have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.